today on Divorce Court. I married my husband, Serge, after a month of dating, and now I want a divorce. Everything was rushed, so I just can't say, oh, let's fix it. It's done because I got great advice. No, it's not like that. He shared himself with a lot of women. He spread himself thin, and I'm just over it. I want to get a divorce because this is not going to work out. I want a divorce today because he was never nice to me. He always pursued other women, and I'm supposed to be his wife. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Tynesha Joseph and Serge Joseph, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph. You have been married for three years. You have one child together, and you had one child prior uh, to uh, marrying Mr. Joseph. Neither one of you want to be married anymore. You've been separated for two months. Mrs. Joseph, you are seeking some child support for child care, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Mrs. Joseph, why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and how we got here today? Well, me and Serge has been married for three years. We met, um, uh, we met and got married a month after being together. Um, two weeks after we were together, he pursue, tried to pursue women online. He tried to, um, he was talking to his ex. Um, when did you find this out? Before or after you married him? Two weeks after <laughs> we got married, and I found out that he was talking to his ex. Um, what did you think you knew in 30 days that would say to you, go live with this person? What did you think you knew? I knew the picture that he painted for our, our relationship. He told me a lot of things that would happen in the future that I wanted for a long time for myself, and I wanted it for my son. Let, let me ask you, Mr. Joseph. Yes. What did you think you knew about this person to commit to her in a marriage after only 30 days? Your Honor, mm, that's a good question. That's a, that's a good question right there. Um, <laughs> um, I was feeling her. It was, I guess, love at first sight. I don't know. I was feeling her. And I was ready at that time. At that time. But... Were you, in fact, texting exes or other people or on dating sites or whatever shortly after or before you guys got married? Yes, Your Honor. I went to my ex's house the night before our wedding. You went to your ex's the night before the wedding? Yeah. And did you have sexual contact with her then? No. Because um, it could have got there. Could have got to that point. But it didn't happen. Did you... When that... When you go... When you... Yeah, I'm getting married tomorrow to a woman I've known for 30 days. But here I am. I find myself at my ex's crib. Did that say anything to you about the wisdom of the decision or your certainty about the decision you were about to make? It was rushed, I, honestly. She <laughs> called her family. Her family rushes to the altar, like, you know, I got the pastor, I got the minister, y'all doing this. My family wasn't even prepared. I'm sorry, that's not how it happened. Oh, and Mr. Then Joseph, tell her how happened. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Did they tie you up and take you down to the county courthouse <laughs> to get the, get the uh, license, or did you do so uh, willingly? I did so willingly. You no. did so willingly. But don't 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 come in here, you know, like you got bamboozled. <laughs> you don't look like a bamboozable right. dude. Right. You you know don't you, you call it for what it was, Mrs. Joseph. You say Mr. Joseph is insatiable sexually. Why don't you explain to me? your concerns in that regard? Um, for the first six months of our marriage, we had sex about twice or three times a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, after my first pregnancy, because I had five miscarriages, so after, after my first pregnancy, I just didn't, um, I didn't want to be touched by him. So as we started having sex less about three times a week, sometimes even twice. And when I was daughter, I'm pregnant with my, with my daughter now, we had sex once a week, and that wasn't enough for him. He wanted sex all the time and wanted to watch You're porn right. all the time. Right. That's a lie. Yes, Mr. Joseph. I never knew there was, like, a limitation to sex when it comes down to marriage. I never knew there was a limitation. Um, I'm not a sex addict at all. It's just that, you know, at times I just want to get physical with her. You like sex sense. more than she did. You wanted I... to have it more often than she did. That's... I right. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying, like, I... I used to do things, like, I used to cook, I used to clean, I used to do things to get her in the mood, like, oh, ah, uh, he cleaned up, so... Not true. It, what? What? <laughs> um... 
Your Honor. Okay. Well, let did... me ask you this. The f five miscarriages, that has got to be an emotional tornado for anybody. Did that in and of itself kind of sink the ship? Or, you know, did he respond appropriately? Did you become unavailable? It's, I mean, it's got to be an emotional tidal wave. Yeah. Um, in between times, yes, we would have sex a lot. But then when I got pregnant, I just didn't want to because, you know, the fear of losing another baby. Mm -hmm. um, my last pregnancy, I mean, my last pregnancy before my daughter, I was five months pregnant and I lost the baby. I called him for his support and he gave me none. He told me that I got, I had an abortion and I was in, on the hospital bed crying my eyes out to him and he did not care. Mr. Joseph, uh, do you have a different rendition of that story? We wasn't even together at that time. We wasn't together because he, he was incarcerated. So he didn't know what was going on with me because he was locked up. I just wanted his emotional support because I was on the phone with him at the time. And the same day, he called me and I didn't get nothing. He thought I had an abortion, which I didn't. And he knows my Were you less, the less level supportive of when you had an opportunity to at least speak to her over the phone? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. What incident are you talking about? You talking about when I was with. I don't understand how he doesn't know when I was five months pregnant and I had a miscarriage. That was the last miscarriage I had. We were together. You was incarcerated. You don't remember? Okay, Your Honor. Yeah. I think his, he, he remembers, but his conscience won't let him say. You know what I'm saying? He, he's too embarrassed by his conduct. It, it, don't, don't take that to heart. Your Honor, okay. he just, I'm, not, he just I'm not embarrassed. To it. I'm not embarrassed at all, to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it real. Well, you ought to be. He'll, he'll get verbal abusive when I'm right. Like, he'll, we could argue about doing the dishes or cleaning up the apartment. And he'll, if I'm right about something, like, why are you getting upset? I'll try to explain it to him, like, why are you getting upset? I'm a B, I'm a hoe, I'm fat, I'm ugly. Mr. Joseph, do <laughs> would you want to you respond to that? Mr. Joseph. Yes. I'm going to give you an opportunity to disabuse me of a notion. You do see how hurt she is over there, right? Yes. Does it bother you? It does. It bothers me plenty of times. But, Your Honor, honestly, it's, it, it's the dog in me. I just keep doing stupid things. It's the dog in you? It's the dog in me. You just like a lot of women? It's not even a... Mm, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. I, I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. There's a dog in me, Your Honor. I'm gonna keep it Why real. Why did you marry her if you, knew, if you knew that about yourself? Or you didn't know then? It was just rushed. Everything was rushed, Your Honor. When did you realize that this marriage wasn't gonna work out? Probably two months ago. I, I mean, every time he's tried to speak to other women, I would realize it, but then um, my realization would be shadowed by him telling me that he loves me and that he's gonna change. Okay. This is once or twice a week I'm finding out that he's talking to someone now. That's that he lot. has... Because I'm only with one woman. He's talking on the phone or on the internet with someone So you're new. saying you're just having a relationship she... with one other woman, not That's... multiple yeah. other women. Yes, because she's a private investigator. Mm -hmm. yeah. She is a private investigator. She hacks my phones. I can't get in my Gmail. She do all that. She's a hacker, a perfect one. Yeah, but, but, but you're cheating on her, so yeah. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not like she's making this stuff up. I mean, she wants she's... to know if her husband is having sex with another guy. Me, personally, the minute I realized he was, I'd be out, I'd, so I don't hack nothing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not like she was just being, like, a crazy, jealous person. I mean, she right. had reason to do that. You're Ms. <laughs> yes? I only had one sexual intercourse with another woman just recently. This is not... This isn't in the past where I'm dealing with multiple women and I'm just meeting up with them and we just doing our thing. It wasn't even like that. I would just throw out flirtation texts and that's it. Even though that's a form of cheating, mm -hmm. but I didn't actually, you know... Have physical... Right. Physically, okay. I'm right. sorry, but it's a form of cheating where you give your heart to every woman that you meet uh, online. That you what? That you meet online. He gives his heart, he tells them that he loves them. Honor. No, I don't do that. 
You know, he it's does. Just a form of yeah, communication. I, I, I believe he does. I believe it's he a does. Form of communication. Yeah, he I wants them to does. fall in love with him. He wants that same thing he did with me when he first met me. But do I love them? Stop. He wants them to fall in love with him. Yeah. And that's how it goes. He likes the pull. He loves yes. it. It makes him feel powerful to have women just kind of melt in front of him. Mm -hmm. So he knows what to say, knows how to say it, he knows what to do. Mm -hmm. And and that happens. Let so let's 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 move on from there, because we already know what that how that ends. Mrs. Joseph, you say that um, you argue a lot, and when you do argue, he gets emotionally abusive. Why yeah. don't you tell me about that? Or verbally he'll, abusive? Verbally, he'll, he'll get verbally abusive when I'm right. Like, he'll, we could argue about doing the dishes or cleaning up the apartment. And he'll, if I'm right about something, like, why are you getting upset? I'll try to explain it to him, like, why are you getting upset? I'm a B, I'm a hoe, a slut, I'm fat, I'm ugly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, Whoa. In first, it's the girl he's with now is two si sizes bigger than me. So it's like, I mean, twice is my size. So I'm like, all of this time I'm fat and I'm ugly, and then you You're right. make me feel even worse names. by being with someone who. Mr. Joseph, do, <laughs> would you want to you want to respond to that? Honestly, yes. I have a, um, a bad mouth. I do. She has the same thing. She's not innocent. She okay. go off too. Well, why don't you give me some examples of things she's done and said to you that were verbally abusive or emotionally abusive? She would call me the B word, the D word, everything that you could think of profanity. She would just throw mm -hmm. at me. So things are just ugly at your house. Real, real ugly, yeah. It would get real ugly. And it's ugly because I've, me, I never was the type of person to say anything bad about somebody, but he brought that out of me. He spent three years treating me so bad. And I had to sit there and defend myself. So that's what I did. I didn't just come out the gate calling him a B or a, a D word. Like, he would do that to me. So I had... It was, like, really a defense mechanism for me is to say things about him. Because I had to. I didn't know what else to do. She's naturally like that now. She just goes Now. Off. She's naturally that's like that. That's not how that. it was yeah. before, at the, but, but, in but, the beginning. Uh, was she like that when you first got her, though? The second week, she, she went off on me. But the weren't you week? cheating the second no, week? No, I wasn't yes. cheating. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No. So wasn't the cheating. minute you got married, she became verbally abusive. No, I wouldn't say that. Probably like the fourth, sixth month. I had to take a lot for six months. I didn't defend myself with him. So it was like, what else do you want me to do? You want me to just shut up and be quiet in the corner? Or do you want me to defend myself? I, I, get, I get it. I see what's happening. She's hurt. You've cheated on her. You've left her for another woman. She kicked me out. I didn't. Because I had another woman on standby. She kicked me out. I, I begged him to change, and he didn't want to change. He just decided that he was going to leave me. I mean, that's just, like, unnecessary. That's like, you know, yeah, I cut you, so let me get some salt and just... <laughs> see how bad I can make you feel. Do you believe Sarah has had only one affair during their marriage? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. So, Mr. Joseph, I understand you are now committed to another woman. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. So, are you going to marry this other woman, or you're not sure? I'm not sure, Tom. I can't tell Tom, Your Honor. They talk yeah. about marriage. I can't tell Tom. We don't talk about marriage. You see, this is what I'm talking about, the private investigator. Like, how she know, would know I'm talking about marriage with another woman? Can you ask him what's but, on his but, hand? But, 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 but you, whoa, whoa, you're getting what? annoyed. I got no rings on my hand. Listen, you're getting annoyed about this little bitty thing over here when you've done a big, huge wrong. Don't you, you know what I'm saying? You're right. She's I'm... hurt. You've cheated on her. You've left her for another woman. She kicked me out. I didn't. Because I had another you're... woman on standby. She kicked me out. I, I begged him to change, and he didn't want to change. He just decided I that he was going to leave me. Miss, Miss Joseph, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. What do you do in the other areas of your life? What are you doing? Well, um, we were cooks at, at um, this restaurant, and now, right now, I'm just um, working as a housekeeper. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I understand that since he left, he had the tattoo. Didn't you have the other woman's name tattooed on your finger? 
Wow, you just a cold dude. You know? That's just, I mean, that's just like unnecessary. That's like, you know, yeah, I, I, I cut you, so let me get some salt and just. They got see it. See how bad I can make you feel. They got it because they wanted to get back at me for the altercation that we had. What um, altercation? I've seen them in the street when he was supposed to come see his daughter, and I was calling him all day, and I see him with her. <laughs> Just walking casually up the street, and not, they don't live in Harlem. Whoa, they whoa, live. Wait. Hang on. I they don't live in Harlem. They live somewhere else, mm -hmm. and it's like you're in my area where I live, where my mom lives, and you just walking up the street, all laughing and giggling. Huh. So and you. She popped off. And you did what? Well, he said I popped off on her, or I got into it with her. Okay. Do you know the problem you have is not with the new woman? I do know that. You know? Yeah. I mean, your problem is with him. Mm -hmm. She's just the next chicken line for the new heartache. Yeah. So it's it's it don't don't worry about it. You think he's with her for her money, yes? Yeah. What does she do? She works at this hospital mm -hmm. as an um, eye examiner. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Miss, Mr. Joseph, would you ha do you have anything you'd like to say to Mrs. Joseph? I'm giving you an opportunity to look like a human being here. Take it. I, Your Honor, I am a human being. Um, I'm sorry for what I put you through. Don't worry about I, it. I can't, I can't change it. Don't worry about it. Life gets better from today forward. Trust that. Trust that. What do you think should be Taisha's next steps? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, shed another tear for this sad, pitiful excuse for a human being that she has standing next to you. You may not know this, but this is the best thing that ever happens to you. You are a beautiful woman. You are a young woman. You can go on and have children and have love and have life and have joy. You're not stuck with a guy that doesn't know how to love somebody. You're not stuck with a guy whose own ego comes before everything else in his life. You're not stuck paying the bills of a man who does not respect you, does not love you, and doesn't know how to do it for anybody except himself. He's so transparent that he has to get other women to tell him he's wonderful all the time because he has no value of his own. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. You step on. You step over. Don't think about that girl. She's going to get hers in the end anyway. Step on. Go forward. Love. I mean, this is so yesterday's news. Forever and ever, you've got two wonderful kids, and you want what? How much money you want? Uh, <laughs> I'm asking for a nine fifty for child care. Nine fifty for child care? That sounds reasonable to me. You have anything to say, Mr. Joseph? Yeah. You're on. I don't know why the reason why I'm paying nine fifty. I always take care of my daughter. I'm always nine hundred fifty dollars in favor of Mrs. Joseph. <laughs> it is so hard. <laughs> Today, the judge really opened my eyes to the type of crap I've been dealing with. And I'm ready to move on, um, live a happy life with my kids. I regret mistreating her. I regret for the times when I wasn't sympathetic for her feelings. I just wish things could work out better. I'm confident that Serge will be there for his daughter. He loves her, and they have a good bond. So from here on out, it's just about the bond that they have together and, and us separately living our lives.